We are here at 1757 Golf Club for the 8th Annual Celebrity Charity Golf Tournament, where the community can come and golf with former Super Bowl champions and legends of the NFL. This event is to support the Evolve Foundation and military families, hosted by the team of CCAA Events. Here I am with Kyle Arrington, the founder of Evolve Foundation. For those who don't know, tell us a bit more about your company, the organization. Um, well, so it started by my wife and myself. Um, well, really, my wife. I just I, 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 I do I do as I'm told. Right? No, um, <laughs> no. Like I said, uh, so um, just being, you know, having a great support system. One thing we've always said growing up, we had a, a wonderful village. You know, and it, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, right? Right. And and that you know that being said, um, you know, as parents ourselves, the three, you know, and and you know, you grow, you you evolve, you gain perspective. Uh, like I said, I think I'm you say evolve, right? right. So uh, it's all about the younger generation. How can we leave this world a better place than we found it, right? Mm -hmm. And so that being said, um, it's just all about for us creating environments, experiences, and opportunities of uh, excellence. Okay, and can you tell us what inspired? Because I know this foundation, well, the golf tournament is based around Clarence Wright. Correct. Um, what was what inspired him to start this tournament? You know, Clarence, man, uh, he's about as as rare as they as they come as they came, um, unfortunately. And you know, Clarence is all about bringing people together. And you know, rain, sleet, or shine. You know, here here we are, right? You know, still. So <laughs> yes. Just wanted to uh, just you know continue to carry the torch and uh, put on something uh, he could be proud of and um in his in his honor. What team are you on? Uh, I, I have no horse in this race. <laughs> <laughs> so you're know, not playing. I know, I know it's Team Plax versus Team Smooth. So we had a little, uh, you know, a little, little, little pregame. I just say uh, get together last night at okay. dinner, and there was a lot of smack talking going on. So it should be, uh, should be a good watch. We'll see when it comes to the field. Mm -hmm. there we Thank go. you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here I'm with Lee, former cornerback for the Patriots. Are there any activities or charities that you're involved with? Um, well, no, I just. Obviously, you know, I'm here today mm -hmm. to be involved with Evolve. Um, right. Uh, and, and I just like to be with charities that are, you know, dear to my heart, which is, uh, you know, obviously kids, um, mental health awareness. Um, those are the types of things that I try to be involved with. Uh, I try to get involved with everybody else's foundation mm -hmm. that, you know, is aligned with, you know, where I'm at in my life. Um, and to be honest, I just, you know, I live for a living. You know, um, I worked extremely hard for a long time, and I just wanted to enjoy it with my family, friends, and, you know, just enjoy life. I mean, because obviously, you know, we're here for Clarence as well. Right. And, you know, time. You know, wait for no man, and you never know when that clock is going to run out here. So um, I just try to enjoy every moment that I have on this earth. Um, okay. Well, thank you for your time, and much success to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here we have Joe Dunn. He is also a supporter, and he's on the committee for the golf tournament. Joe, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I am uh, a mortgage guy. I work for George Mason Mortgage down in Richmond, been in the mortgage business 28 years and uh, run the biggest charity celebrity golf tournament in Richmond every year. So uh, Fred always comes. It's called the Daryl Green Celebrity Golf Classic. And uh, Fred asked me to come help him with this event. Okay. Now, being that with the passion of Clarence Wright, what is your involvement now? What have you been helping with? Wow, everything. All of us have kind of been all hands on deck. Um, that was obviously tragic and unfortunate and, and set us back quite a bit. Clarence was a phenomenal person, um, but also kind of the leader of our group. So we've all had to step up and just do many different things just to pull this off. Now, where do all the proceeds go? So the proceeds are going to, uh, some are going to go to the Evolve Foundation, which is Kyle Arrington's foundation uh, that helps kids, uh, kids over in the Maryland area. And then we're going to uh, designate a portion of the proceeds to go to uh, a veterans foundation. Okay. Will you be golfing with us today? Not very well, but yeah. <laughs> Are you team Fred or Plex? I'm team Fred. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll and see who wins. Team Fred's taking home the trophy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> so what brings you out here in the golf, for the golf tournament? Uh, charity. You know, at the end of the day, we out here for the veterans. I believe in taking care of the people who take care of us. And at the end of the day, they, they are left behind so many times. And mm -hmm. I, I just find that unbelievable. Right. So, of course, our charity attached to that, and of course, JP Jumpers. And we out here for my guy, Clarence Wright, who is the head of our golf tournament, who actually passed seven days ago. So, uh, of course, we're doing it in his honor today. So, a lot brings us out here today, not just charity, but kind of some emotional things like that. And 
and we're weathering the storm like we, we continue to do. And, uh, we was going to, you know, I, how should I say, postpone it or cancel it, but we felt like that ain't what he would have wanted. He wouldn't want us to, to press on, so we pressed on. And especially with it being connected to the military, that's why you see a lot of veterans around here right now and stuff like that. I, I think we have good reason why to do it. Like some people do stuff just to do it. I think we're doing it with, with the right people. In mind. What brings you out here to the tournament? Well, you know, it, in, in the football world, there's a, a small community, right? Mm -hmm. and, and if a friend asks you to play and you have the time, and you know it's for a charity and a good a good cause, you come and you know you try to help out. So mm -hmm. I'm here trying to help out. Okay. Well, I saw that you just wrote a new book, The Me That Needs To Be. I did. Can you let us know a little more about it? Sure. Uh, so so my my goal in life, like a lot of probably issues that I've dealt with in my life, is that. You know, you want to plant seeds for kids when they're young so that they don't have to go through some of the same mm -hmm. things that you go through. So the me that needs to be is about financial literacy. Mm -hmm. um, I think us in the black community has gotten a lot better, but, you know, you can say, well, if you should know better and you should do this and that, but if you've never known, if no one's ever taught you that, mm -hmm. if no one's ever planted those seeds in your, in your life or understand your situation, then, you know, you grow up with some of the same issues that you would have had as a kid. This book is just kind of the beginning of financial literacy. I had to come out here and support my guy, Fred Smooth and Plaxico, man. He told me he was having a golf tournament, man, so I said, hey, I'm there. All right. Are you involved in any charities? Um, I have my own charity, um, the Chris Baker Foundation. That's pretty much it. And then anytime my team makes ice, when they come out and support their events, I, I come out and show my support. So what is your charity about? Um, I focus on childhood literacy and, and financial literacy. Um, I do a free football camp back in my um, hometown in Connecticut. I also did a few camps here in Maryland when I was playing, so I um, hope I can bring the camp back now that I'm done and stop playing. I can bring the camp back here to, um, to the D.C. area. Okay. So what do you want to teach kids about finances? Um, just how to manage your money, you know, just being uh, financially smart, making the right decisions. A lot of people don't even understand, you know, just the clear basis of having a checking account and a savings account and just being able to manage your money and being able to make different financial decisions. So my foundation kind of like gives them different steps to uh, be able to implement those uh, activities. What other charity events have you been involved with? Well, it's been a long time. So it's been sort of like the Arthritis Foundation, National Kidney Foundation, uh, Cystic Fibrosis, Leukemia Lymphoma, um, we've done, I've done American Cancer. My, my father died of cancer, my mother's had a mastectomy. Cancer is probably the least I've been organized, involved in, because we were affected by, I always do things I haven't been affected by, like Alzheimer's, I didn't even know what it was. We did 12 golf tournaments, 12 years of golf oh. tournaments with it. National Kidney Foundation, we just did like our 15th uh, this year over mm -hmm. Lansdowne, and so, for me, it is not only the ones that I've been involved in, but I go to all my brothers' tournaments. Mm -hmm. Brian Mitchell, Fred Smoot, every guy in here. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan, when, when Ryan was here at L Lymphoma. Bobby Mitchell, who is the godfather of all this. And Brig mm -hmm. Owens, they taught me. Brig Owens had his foundation. They did the charity work. So you just come here. The thing about the Burgundy and Gold, you get here, you see those before you. You go to their events then pretty soon you're anointed, you hold the events. Mm -hmm. Then like Chris Baker's here now. Yes, Next that's Chris all. Baker be doing it. <laughs> he was a baby, I helped raise him. So that's the beauty of it for me, mm -hmm. is seeing these generations. Right. So whenever I have a ch opportunity to come out and do this, the hardest thing I do today is be interviewed. Are you kidding me? There are people that have gone out and dropped out of airplanes in, in jungles or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. This is what I do, I've been doing it, and uh, been there 40 years, over 40 years. And I like to think that the charities I've been associated with, I learned something and we helped. And there have been a lot of them because this is what I do, because it was done for me.